Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Wednesday. I hope your day is off to a good start. So in November, I don't, I can't remember whether I just forgot or whether time just got away from me, but I did not upload my random favorites. This is a video that I introduced. I can't remember whether I started it in the spring or the summer, but as you guys are aware, most of the content on my channel is either geared towards beauty stuff, um, a lot of skincare, makeup, things like that, or um, candles because I'm a home fragrance nut. I have been for a long time. I've been uploading candle reviews for years and I just find um, you know, that those two topics tend to be um, my favorites <laughs> in terms of types of videos that I like to do. But there are also um, a whole host of other random things that I discover over the course of a month that um, aren't related to either of those two topics, but I wanna share these things with you guys. So that's why I've been doing these random favorites. Um, I have some home decor stuff for you guys today. I have um, a supplement, I have some food per usual. I have some jewelry, I have some sunglasses. There's, there's just a, a veritable smorgasbord of um, random things. So. Let's get into it. As always, I will put links in the description box down below. So if you want to know where to buy these things or if you want to just read more about them, the information is down there. All right, so I'm going to start with a home decor piece. And this is actually also kind of a review of the website where I ordered this from. So um, in our house, the style that I have kind of landed on is kind of like a European slash French country, like rustic type of vibe. Not super rustic because honestly, like the, the super rustic does not appeal to me, but I do like some older looking pieces. And while I wish I could go out to flea markets or um, antique stores to find these pieces, it's just not something that I'm able to do right now. Um, so there is this website that my friend Jennifer from uh, on Instagram, she is the show 78, she's fantastic. She has a very, well, her style is much more refined, I feel like. She also does a lot of like the European inspired French country type of decor and she's super talented. She refinishes furniture. If you don't follow Jen, you should. I'll put her information down below because she's such a lovely person and she's super, super talented. But um, she was telling me about this website called, um, how, and now I'm gonna, Antique Farmhouse, there we go. <laughs> it's like, this is not the time to have a brain fart, Melanie. Um, so Antique Farmhouse. Now, I have to admit, if you're gonna order something from them, it is going to take them forever to send the product to you. Prepare yourself. <laughs> so if you say it's the holiday time and you're wanting to order something that is like Christmas decor related, you wanna make darn sure that you get that order in like in October because <laughs> it is going to take them weeks to actually ship the product out to you. I don't know why it takes them so long. Um, it, it just, it does. It's, it's, it's their thing, I guess. <laughs> anyway, they have lots of different collections of um, home decor items and they do separate them into um, different categories. So there's one for French country, there is a shabby chic, there's a rustic, there's kind of more of like an industrial. Um, they have several different categories and each day they come out with a new event and they curate items for those events. So for the last couple months, it has obviously been all holiday related stuff, um, but there are also just ongoing events where you know they have like um, the shabby chic decor and then there are, I mean, between 20 and 40 items in any of the given categories, right? So there's a lot to choose from. Um, I do love how everything is curated, anyway. Uh, I just want to let you guys know if you are going to order from them, just prepare yourself that it's going to take them a while to get the stuff to you. But the first thing that I ordered, I've absolutely fallen in love with and it's beautiful. And I will be ordering more from them. Now that I'm like mentally prepared for how long it's going to take, I'm okay with it. <laughs> but 
don't don't order anything for a specific like occasion unless you're ordering it like well in advance. There, there's your disclaimer. Okay, so I these 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 are mine. <laughs> these are sugar pine cones. I love decorating with these for um, the fall as well as the holidays, and you can even use these for winter decor. So, and you can find these at like craft stores. Like Hobby Lobby sells these. Um, but I picked this up. Now, I was obsessing about this particular piece. It is an iron. This this is iron. This is so heavy, you guys. I want to say this weighs at least at least 10 pounds, if not more. This is heavy. Um, it's a cachet pot. Now, it does have holes on the bottom, so if you wanted to use this as a planter, you absolutely could. They have this gray, and they also have it in a really beautiful kind of white distressed finish. I almost got the white, but I think I liked the detail a little bit more on the natural gray. You guys, this is, it's so heavy. I can't, I can't hold it up. Mama's out of shape, let me tell you. I am, I really need to get back to the gym at some point. Um, but this is beautiful. So I plan on using this to display um, things like maybe pine cones. I don't know. I just, I stuck these in here because this came in the mail the other day and I was like, I don't know what to put in here. Like right now I could totally put like Christmas ornaments in here and it would be so cute, right? Or I could put like a, two small poinsettias in here or like just a whole Christmas arrangement. At this point, I'm not going to the flower market before Christmas, which, oh my gosh, that's tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. That's crazy. Um, but next year, I will definitely be doing like a holiday arrangement in here for sure. Anyway, I just, I thought this was beautiful. I wanted to share it. And there's so many beautiful things that I have my eye on. Um, I, I need to watch my budget a little bit. So, um, you know, I need to, I need to, I need to get back to work <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Um, if you're new to my channel, I am actually a wedding florist. Um, I do have some weddings that are supposed to happen in February. I don't know if they will. Um, I, I hope. <laughs> Just for my own mental sanity to like get back to work. I, re I really need to get back to work. Um, but also, money is nice. So yeah, I need to watch my budget a little bit, but this was kind of like a Christmas gift to myself. So I picked that up. Um, there's definitely more things that I have my eye on, but some of them are, they're a little spendy, but they are good quality pieces. So that's the first thing. All right. Um, I recently finally invested in some new sunglasses. Most of the sunglasses that I have are either from Target or um, Torrid at the mall. Um, I find that the Torrid store, which is technically a plus size store, their sunglasses fit my face really well because I, I have a larger head and enormous face, right? Um, I love my face. I'm not saying, ugh, giant gourd, hate it. it. It is what it is, but I have kind of a bigger head. So finding sunglasses can be difficult. But Diff, I've seen ads for these all over the place. So, and I've been looking at several different styles for quite some time. And finally, they had a really neat sale over, like, I think it was Black Friday or something. So I ordered myself three pairs of sunglasses. I think I got all three pairs for, like, just over $100. And these are really nice, you guys. These were, if, if I break it down, they were a little bit more expensive than what I typically spend at Target or at Torrid. But these are way better quality. And they came with a really nice case, which I appreciate. So I'll show you guys the different styles that I got. This one I believe is called Avery, and these were only 25 bucks. Now, they do have a decent selection of oversized sunglasses, oversized frames. They also do eyeglasses as well, so you don't just have to go to them for sunglasses. But I really like the way these fit. Oh, look at the ring light, isn't that fancy? I really like the way these fit my gourd. Um, these are not uncomfortable. They are not tight on my temples. Um, they're really nice, you guys, and they're really well made. So I think these were on sale for 25 bucks. And then the other two, I think were $49 each. So a little more expensive, but they oftentimes have like a BOGO sale. So you buy one pair and then you get another pair for free. So I bought, um, two from this particular style. This is the Becky, let's see, the Becky 2 from the Becky 2 series. 
And I really like the shape of these because I do love like the cat eye sunglasses. So these are the tortoise, I believe. Um, really, really love these. They're so comfortable and I like that they have the, like the plastic um, nose piece here. That's just a lot more comfortable on my nose. And then I also got them in black because of course, I think I like the black the most. Oh yeah. Not that I need these right now, but come summer, I'll be really glad that I have these. So anyway, I just thought that I'd tell you guys about these. I'm sure you've seen these floating around on Instagram. I think that's where I first saw them. Um, and all of them come with a little cleansing cloth thing. And now I feel dumb not being able to talk about this too much, but they do also part do a lot of charity work. Um, and I like that. So anyway, um, diff is short for, I think, difference. They want to make a difference. So anyway, um, I, I, these are really great. I paid for these myself. They have no idea who I am. So, but I think they're really good sunglasses. So if you're in the market, uh, I don't know, maybe you live in Florida and it's sunny down there. Who knows? All right. I can't remember if I've mentioned these before, but if you are the owner of a smooshy faced dog, <laughs> I am a pug lady myself. Um, you know that their folds can get kind of stinky. And by folds, I mean the facial folds that pugs and Frenchies and um, Boston's maybe not so much, but definitely Frenchies and pugs and um, other types of smoosh nosed breeds. <laughs> they, those areas just can get really kind of gross and stinky. So, Penelope's face is the worst because hers is definitely a lot more smushed than Mr. Kong's. Um, so she can easily get little like bacterial or like yeast infections in there. So you have to be careful to clean their folds periodically. So a couple times a week, I take a Q-tip and I gently just kind of wipe that out. And usually there's like bark dust <laughs> or, um, I mean, God knows what I've pulled out of her facial folds. There's lint. <laughs> all sorts of stuff. So, but one of the things that was actually recommended by my friend Lindsay that I found to be super helpful are these Duoxo. They are a chlorhexidine 3% PS pads. Um, by the way, the pads are biodegradable, which I thought was nice, but I just take one of these wipes. Um, you can see, I need to actually order a refill here and I just get that into the folds and wipe it out. So th these are medicated. Um, I buy these off of Amazon. Again, I'll link them down below. Um, but this has helped her snout so much. It just makes such a difference. Like her face doesn't smell like a gym sock and um, she just smells like her normal Penelope self. I don't know. I think my dogs smell really good. Like neither of them are stinky. Um, and they just have, <laughs> for some reason, pugs smell like Fritos all the time. So Kong and Penelope both <laughs> smell like Fritos. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, love these. You can also use them on your dog's paws. Like if they get like a little yeast infection in their paws or something like that, you can use this to clean those. Um, obviously you don't want your dog consuming this. So make sure that you're watching them and that they're not licking their feet while this is on there and doing its thing. But anyway, these are fantastic. I would highly, highly recommend checking these out. Okay. I have some jewelry to share with you guys. So I have partnered with Italo before. So these items here were sent to me, but I have also purchased jewelry from them to give as gifts to other people. So they contacted me and asked me if I wanted to try three more products from them. And I said, absolutely, because the rings they've sent in the past have been gorgeous. So um, I this time around, I opted to get a pair of their earrings and then there's a couple rings coming up. But I wanted to show you guys these earrings because I thought they were so beautiful. They're a little over the top for every day, obviously. <laughs> and I'll link these down below. But they're these beautiful like dangle earrings. These just reminded me of the earrings that I wore on my wedding day. And I thought they were so pretty. Um, they're really, really good quality and they're not too heavy. So these don't like pull down on my earlobes. Now this year, I've obviously had no reason to put on fancy earrings and a party dress and go to any holiday parties. But next year, you better believe that I will be holiday partying it up and I will be sporting these earrings. These are beautiful. Um, the prices of the products I think are very reasonable and they always have a lot of amazing sales. Um, I will put the link for all of these products down below. 
go check them out. Let me show you guys this ring. Now this ring is a little over the top. This is definitely considered costume jewelry and I kind of wish that I would have gotten it in a size eight because I think it would have made a better like middle finger ring, but I got it in the six and a quarter. I think it's a six and a quarter is what my ring size is with them. Oh, look, I can't even, I gotta take these rings off. Um, this would be a much better middle ring, middle finger kind of ring as you can see. But I just, this was so pretty. <laughs> I just thought it was such a like beautiful, it's almost antique looking to me. So these are lab created sapphires and um, diamonds. So these are not real diamonds, but the jewelry is sterling silver and it is um, plated in, plat uh, not platinum, um, 14 karat white gold. So anyway, this is, it's so pretty. I really, this would have been beautiful at my best friend's wedding with the bridesmaid's dress that I have. Um, who knows, maybe I'll put that on for Christmas and <laughs> just sit by myself in the living room on Christmas day. Um, I'm kidding, I won't do that. And then I also, um, I selected this one as well. This is somewhat similar to my wedding band. Um, most days I just wear this diamond band that I have. I actually got this from Costco. This has five diamonds in it. Um, actually quite reasonably priced for what it is. Um, I love, a lot of my diamond pieces are from Costco because they're such good quality. If you've never checked out, they're, you should. They're really, really nice. Um, but anyway, this is very similar to my custom made wedding set but I don't like wearing that set when we're traveling because it just makes me nervous. Um, if I ever lost the center diamond, I would be heartbroken. Um, it's just so special to me. I never wanna like upgrade from it or anything like that. Um, so when we travel, even if it's just up to my parents or somewhere, I always wear something else and not this <laughs> and not my, my real set. But uh, the styling of it is very similar to mine. So. Um, and I think the, actually the stone size is the same as my natural diamond. So, um, it just, it seemed like a really good fit to be able to wear. And again, it looks very similar to my, my wedding set. So let me show you guys on this finger over here. I wonder how long I've been talking. <laughs> a while probably. Oh, I just put them on backwards, but that's fine. There you go. Isn't that pretty? It's just a simple like pave band and then it has the halo with the diamond and also some paves going down the side. You can get a better look at it um, on the website for sure. So I'm gonna put on my diamond ring over here so that I don't lose it. Anyway, the Italo jewelry is gorgeous. I love it. If you've never looked into it, I, I think these are really, really beautiful pieces. They're well made. All of my other ones are holding up beautifully. Like. They're, they're still perfect. So um, I do use the little cleaning cloth that comes to like wipe them down. I always take my rings off when I wash my hands. The presentation is really pretty. They always give you the little cards on how to take care of your rings and all, whether you order rings or earrings or they have necklaces, they have bracelets, there's, there's a huge selection. So um, anyway, and they always include a silver polishing cloth, which is super, super handy. So love that. All right, let's do, uh, this is, this, I've been needing to share this with you guys. When I was dealing with insomnia, you guys recommended this to me. Game changer for insomnia. Now there's a couple things that I think helped cure my insomnia, but I think this was like step number one. Um, the Natural Vitality Calm Magnesium Citrate Supplement. Now, I know there's different different types of magnesium. The citrate just seemed like the best fit for me, so this is what I went for. Um, I just, I bought the big size after I finished the smaller container that I bought at GNC. Um, I will continue to purchase it in this larger size. Uh, this is the raspberry lemon flavor. I'm not gonna lie. It's not the most delicious thing that you'll ever drink, but it's bearable and it made such a huge difference for me. When you are stressed, it absolutely zaps your magnesium levels in your body, which can lead to insomnia. The second that I started taking this, that very night, I actually slept the whole night through. Like, I think my magnesium levels were so depleted and I think a lot of people's are this year because of the amount of stress that everybody's dealing with. 
look into a magnesium supplement if you have been having trouble sleeping. Now, the other thing I want to mention is that I've also been doing red light therapy and I've been using this Mito Pro panel device. I just did a video about this yesterday and there is a giveaway in that video. You might want to go check that video out if you haven't already. This also aids in my sleeping. I am, I am completely convinced of that because once I started taking this and doing the LED light therapy, just sleeping like a freaking baby. In fact, so much so that in the morning, I just want to keep sleeping. <laughs> so I get out of bed at my usual time, but I just sleep so good and I don't have nightmares. Melatonin gives me nightmares, you guys. Um, I couldn't take it. I just would wake up in the middle of the night with horrible dreams and it was only when I was taking the melatonin and I did a little bit of research and melatonin can cause nightmares in certain people. So that was me. The uh, magnesium supplement does not. So this and the LED red light therapy are it for me. Love it. All right, let's do a, food, a few food things. Um, did a little pickup order <laughs> at Cost Plus World Market lately. Guys, they had if after eight mints. <laughs> so I loved these when I was uh, a kid growing up in Germany. My Oma always had these after eight mints and I loved them so much. They were just like a fancy treat after dinner every night when I would spend the night there. And I just, they just remind me of my Oma and they remind me of happy times. And I love dark chocolate and I love mint combined with dark chocolate. So they're delicious. If you've never tried these, there are these really, I haven't opened this one. We actually, Craig and I just finished the box, the first box. I bought five. I know. I know. Um, mama needs to go on a diet <laughs> for Christmas. Um, there are these thin little mints and they just come like this and they're so, they're so good, you guys. So they're just these little like wafer thin mints. They're absolutely delicious if you've never tried them. All right, you need to get back in there because I'm not going to eat you right now. They're delicious. Also, at Cost Plus World Market, I picked up the uh, Republic of Tea Blueberry Lavender Tea. Now, this is a beauty tea. It contains hydrating hibiscus flower, collagen promoting blue butterfly pea flower, which I've never heard of. Um, but anyway, uh, I love tea in general. This is what I drink in the afternoon. This one is caffeine free, which is important if you are having trouble sleeping. Don't be drinking coffee late in the afternoon and thinking that you can get away with that. Cut off the coffee at like noon if you have insomnia. So in the afternoon, I drink um, caffeine free teas. These are these just perfect little round sachets. This tea is the color of lavender. It's the most beautiful tea that I've ever drank, but it's also delicious. I love this. Drink it by itself. Um, I've been doing one cup every day. It smells like lavender. It smells so good. It's really, really beautiful. Um, if you've never tried this one, I highly recommend it. They have other like flavors as well within this particular line um, that are supposed to do different things from the inside in terms of like beauty benefits. I, I don't know that I necessarily buy into that, but I do like the flavor of the tea and I think it's beautiful and it's just a nice treat in the afternoon. So check this out for sure. And then the last thing is, <laughs> I really love, I think you pronounce it Sarah's, is that right? I don't know. Anyway, this is their 100% juice blend in passion fruit juice. I actually picked this up for Christmas because guess who's gonna have some mimosas? Me, and I love passion fruit mimosas. This, with either Prosecco or sparkling wine or whatever, I mean, shoot, if you're fancy enough to actually have champagne uh put some of this in there and make it a mimosa for yourself so good so they also have mango and there's like one other flavor as well but i think the passion fruit is the best oh they have a peach obviously for a bellini if you want to make a bellini um but yeah really really good these are no sugar added no preservatives no artificial colors rich in vitamin c gluten-free um there's definitely sugar in here but it's the natural sugars from the passion fruit i love passion fruit anything huge huge fan so you guys, those are my kind of random favorites from the month. Thank you so much for joining me. I will continue this series in 21 for sure. Um, I really, I want to make some changes to my channel next year. Um, 
I'm not sure what those are going to entail, but this is definitely a series that I will continue to do because you guys have responded really well to it. So thank you so much for joining for this one. Um, it'll be back in January. I hope you have a really good Christmas tomorrow. Um, I do think that I'll probably put up a couple of videos because I'm thinking of pre-recording some things. So if you happen to watch those, um, great. But if not, then happy holidays to you. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.